Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, this is Nitin here and I have come up with another amazing problem on physics. So guys, this video is presented to you by Indian School of Physics and Unacademy together. And name of this problem is Velocity of Afflux in Multiple Liquids. Guys, my current courses on uh, Unacademy, the upcoming course is uh, INPHO Foundation and uh, for JE Advanced 2023. It will be starting on first week and uh, this will be a very unique uh, course. So those who are looking for uh, Olympiad, uh, because uh, very rarely you will have organized classes in uh, Olympiad segment. Most of the time it is J advanced and uh, normally students do this kind of preparation on their own. So first official uh, class on INPHO uh, will be there. And uh, for J mains 2021, there will be a series of mock tests uh, which will be starting from Feb 1st for J2021 mains so do check them out and uh, most of these uh, mock tests will be in uh, in free classes special classes so anywhere if they are asking uh, for uh, some invite code or uh, for unlocking some code is required you can use my code Nitin sir and another in important uh, information is uh, unacademy combat is uh, starting on uh, uh, 31st Jan 2021 uh, guys this is combat 7 and uh, similar to last combat combat uh, 5 I have made some problems and here also I'll be making uh, uh, papers for both 11th and uh, 12th so there are fifth, uh, 14 unique problems they are uh, really amazing and original problems so it will be starting tomorrow that is 31st Jan uh, 2021 at 11 a.m and uh, the main thing is about this exam you can check your reaction time on new problems and uh, you know how because in uh, je advance most likely you are going to see the new problems only so solving such problems will definitely give you an edge and uh, you can access all my theory courses uh, which are advanced plus plus levels for boosting your je advanced preparation and uh, yes i have already mentioned this part that uh, if you require my code anywhere or invite code or for some passcode they are asking you can use this uh, code it will give you uh, the access to uh, uh, you know use uh, free courses on unacademy and yes physics will never be the same again for more information you can visit www.unacademy.com all right so guys don't forget to uh, you know participate in combat 7 and uh, yes do check them out uh, these uh, mock tests and also uh, please let uh, you know other people know who will be interested in uh, je 2023 and are willing to go for olympiad preparation so um, just put a word to them so here is a, a statement of uh, today's problem a cylindrical pipe of cross section area A is having a very small opening of uh, area small A at other end. Capital A is very very large compared to small A. The pipe has two liquids of density rho1 and rho2 with length inside x1 and uh, x2 minus x1 respectively. That means all the lengths are measured from the axis of rotation. Pipe is rotating with constant angular velocity of omega naught. Uh, the pressure at the axis of uh, pipe is P naught which is also equal to atmospheric pressure. Find the velocity VE with which liquid of density rho2 will come out of uh, the opening with respect to pipe. So we need to find out this velocity of efflux with respect to pipe. And then uh, the second part is generalize the velocity of efflux for n such liquids and corresponding uh, lengths. So we need to generalize this result for n different type of liquids. So concept wise, uh, we can say Bernoulli's equation from rotating frame I want to apply and uh, here something is uh, missing, I think. Uh, just a second. So Bernoulli's equation we are going to apply uh, from rotating frame. So guys, I'm choosing these two points here, point one and point two. So in these two points, with respect to this rotating frame here, I am going to apply Bernoulli's equation since these two points are at uh, same horizontal level. So relative to rotating frame, I can easily write uh, P1 plus half rho 2, the liquid rho 2 is going to come out, V square. Just inside point is also 
रोटू uh, ओनली दैट लिक्विड डेंसिटी इज रोटू सो आई कैन राइट हियर पी टू प्लस हाफ रो वी टू स्क्वायर एंड इफ यू सिंप्लीफाई दिस वी कैन यूज इक्वेशन ऑफ कंटिन्यूटी एज वेल सो यू विल सी हियर दिस टर्म विल बी नियरली जीरो और वी कैन इग्नोर इट राइट द रीजन बींग हियर बिकॉज क्रॉस सेक्शन एरिया इज वेरी वेरी लार्ज एंड इफ क्रॉस सेक्शन एरिया इज वेरी वेरी लार्ज द स्पीड हियर विल बी नेग्लिजिबल so if this term is zero i can write this velocity of efflux as two times p2 minus p1 which is the pressure difference between just inside and just outside see we cannot apply bernoulli's between first and last point we need to apply bernoulli's uh, between any two points within the same liquid so this is going to be uh, 2 p2 minus p0 uh, the pressure here one is uh, p0 divided by rho of coming out all right so velocity of efflux related to tube this will be the expression of it now what we are going to do is we are going to calculate this pressure difference p2 minus p1 or p2 minus p0 in this particular case so already we know that uh, pressure difference uh, calculation for that we are taking this assumption that capital a is very very large compared to small a so velocity of liquid in the uh, in the tube will be very small or we can ignore it and if that is uh, negligible i can uh, do the balancing here i'll take at a distance of r i'll take one liquid element of uh, thickness dr so uh, here the the pressure at r is uh, p and pressure at r plus dr is uh, p plus dp so the net force towards the center is going to be dp into a and that is going to provide acceleration of r omega square to mass dm dm value i'm going to substitute which will be rho adr so when we uh, d a and a gets cancel dp is rho omega square rdr so when i integrate this part for first liquid i'm going to integrate uh, pressure on the axis is p not when r is 0 and uh, pressure at the last interface is p1 and uh, that distance is x1 so when i simplify i am going to get p1 minus p0 rho1 omega square x1 square by 2 similarly for liquid 2 now uh, the pressure will start from p1 and it will go up to uh, p2 at second interface and limit of x will go from x1 to x2 when i uh, integrate this part in in this part it you can see the limit goes from p1 to uh, p2 now and uh, this goes from x1 to x2 now right and the liquid density becomes rho2 so these changes when i add i'll be writing this p2 minus p1 is equal to rho2 omega square and this will become x2 square minus x1 square by 2 yeah, this i have written here similarly for uh, Uh, other liquids also we can write however in the original case there are only two liquids so just uh, add these two equations here right this equation and this equation we are adding so we are going to get p2 minus p0 this is what is required here this is what is required in this part so when i do this i am going to get uh, omega times rho1 x1 square plus rho2 x2 minus x1 whole square divided by rho2 this is going to be the velocity of uh, efflux here and uh, for n such liquids i can generalize this result you can see the velocity of efflux will become omega times rho this will become x1 square minus uh, x2 square by uh, x x1 square minus 0 square it will come right Uh, similar to this and the uh, the second one rho2 times x2 square minus x1 square third one x3 square minus x1 uh, x2 square will come here you know so this will become x3 square minus x2 square and it will keep on going for n liquids at nth liquid i can write rho n x n square minus x1 square divided by rho out the liquid which is going to come out so nth liquid is at uh, in the end so this is going to be the general formula for velocity of efflux in a rotating tube omega times sigma rho i x i square minus x minus 1 whole square divided by rho of n the rho of out 
this is going to be the final answer i hope guys you have enjoyed uh, about uh, this problem it's pretty easy uh, yet tricky all right so if you have enjoyed this solution then please uh, leave a like share this uh, problem with others and if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe it i'll be coming up very soon with another amazing problem thank you